<sighs> all right, Shalom, Shalom. I'm gonna start saying all praise and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Baruch Hakadosh, uh, Double Honor, Sora, Apostle, Elder's Great Millstone. All right, peace and mercy be unto the Lord's elect out there, peace and word, truth, sincerity. I'm the brother Amar from the branch of GMS Cleveland. Coming back at you with another video, and um, real quick, it's gonna be a a brief uh, walk and talk. You know, on my way back to the house. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna hop right into it. Because, um, you know, obviously we're living in the last days and and um, with that being said, uh, there's going to be a huge influx or increase or, or an acknowledging of, uh, uh, of uh, regular so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, uh, them acknowledging themselves being the Israelites according to the scriptures. And that's part of prophecy. All right. So I uh, started off in the book of Baruch 2 and uh, 30. It says, for I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. It says, but in the land of their captivities, uh, it says, they shall remember themselves. And this is um, dead on, a dead on prophecy or spot on prophecy uh, showing you that we're in those times, man. Because you got regular uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans uh, waking up to the fact that, uh, that they're, they're Israel, the Israelites. And uh, waking up to the fact that they know, you know, uh, Esau, Edom is the devil. All right, and... Uh, you know, um, acknowledging the name of Yahweh Shemeshah, which is the true power, uh, 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 Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the scriptures. So, you know, these prophecies are starting to, uh, you know, starting to hit hard. You know what I'm saying? We're just living out a few more last moments um, in this uh, wicked-ass empire, you know. But it says in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves, man. All right, and we're in captivity right now to this day. All right. We're in Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. And uh, this is the last captivity we, we, we will be in uh, before we uh, receive um, internal uh, rest, all right, deliverance, all right. It says, and they shall know that I am the Lord their God. It says, for I will give them a heart and ears to hear. And then that's the thing, man. It said he will give us a heart and, uh, and uh, ears to hear. So this is a, a process to which... To where you have to literally wait, if you, if it, if it's the Lord's will to wake you up, it's a process uh, where you know brothers come in at different times, it's sort of like the Matrix, man. All right, like when you watch the movie Matrix, you had different uh, individuals being wakened up or woke up at different times. All right, some men wake up earlier. All right, and they're young. Some men wake up later on in their life when they're older. All right, but the point of the matter is, if you're slated uh, to receive this word. Uh, potentially receive salvation accompanied with the word, then uh, you're going to wake up to that fact that you are indeed an Israelite. It says, uh, they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. All right, and is that not happening? All right. You see, you, see, you literally see that uh, happening, man, with the videos, brothers out there in the highways and byways, praising Yahweh Shah. you know what I'm saying? You know, you see that, man. You know what I'm saying? Make the men on the street corners or the videos or, you know, whatever. You, you, you see, you know, uh, us praising Yahweh Bashim Shah, praising the Lord, you know what I'm saying, for who he is, and for, for who they are, excuse me. It says, uh, verse 30, it says, uh, and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Lord, man. And this is the thing, man. All right. You have to acknowledge that you know you transgressed against the heavenly father and the son you have to acknowledge those things you have to acknowledge your, your sins you have to acknowledge that you went off you transgressed against the heavenly father's ways you were a wicked motherfucker a wicked individual excuse me <laughs> you know sometimes you can't, sometimes you can't help it man to use the rude speech but you know you, you some you know you can't help it man um i mean you uh, you you gotta uh, acknowledge that you know you were wicked you know and, and then the lord will potentially have mercy upon you but that's, uh, like I said, that's up to him. Uh, it says, verse 34, it says, And I will bring them into the land of the, and the land which I promise with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them, and they shall they shall not be diminished, man. So, uh, yeah, man, this is just something that we're waiting on. You know, we're waiting on these things. And, uh, you know, sooner or later, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna come into fruition. You know, we just gotta, uh, you know, just keep, you know, just keep, uh, keep, uh, you know, keep pushing this word, keep doing what we're doing. 
and uh, Lord willing, Heavenly Father will come for us. Because uh, you know, basically, you know, this place is it's it's, it's over with, man. It's finished. It's uh, you know, more than likely probably uh, this time next year, uh, not this time next year, but sometime sometime next year. Excuse me. Sometime next year, we're, we're, we're fucking around and probably be out of here, Lord willing. Because, um, you know, we only got two more months left in this year, which is 2021. And that's looking real bad, man. But it says, uh, he gonna, he gonna give us our land back. And not only that, we're gonna get the, we're gonna inherit the whole universe, the earth. The earth, the whole universe. And we say it's gonna be lords of it. And they shall be lords of it. And that's the thing, man. We're waiting to get back that, that, uh, that, that, that birthright, man. I mean, you know, we never lost it, but... We'll wait until uh, come into that birthright, receive that birthright of uh, in its in its entirety. Uh, it says, uh, "And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their God, and they shall be my people. And I will be no, and I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the, the land that I've given them, because the Heavenly Father will give us eternal rest." Hey man, so with that I'm gonna say, uh, Shalom. <clears throat>